Amari Cooper, Brown's number one receiver, final year of the contract, a, a little over $20 million, tied for, I think it's 19th highest paid. Didn't go to minicamp, wants, you know, wants a, another deal. What do you think of that contract dispute, and, and do you see him? Again, he just turned 30 on Monday, so I, I, get, I actually get both sides of this argument. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly understand it from Cooper's perspective, right? Given his age, given what he's done, you know, it's it's his last real opportunity for a sort of significant big payday and maybe one last uh, pay bump before he starts to decline. He reaches that age where receivers just uh, inexorably, you know, start to go backwards, and that's his career. So it makes perfect sense from his point of view to try and capitalize now, try and get the money while he can. Um, But that's also the reason that the Browns don't really want to give him the extension and the extra money and all those kinds of things. And really, it's it's kind of been the story of Amari Cooper's career that anywhere he goes, he makes that offense better. He's a really, really good player. And maybe he's not quite the player that he was expected to be when he was coming out, where he looked like one of the best receiver prospects to enter the league in a long time. He was He didn't really have any flaws as a prospect. Everything was good. He was like a prototypical elite wide receiver prospect. Um, And he's been good, but not quite at that really elite level. He's never been, you know, the the top two or three receivers in the NFL. So he reaches the stage, I think, where teams look at the contract that he's on and they start thinking, "Ah, is he really worth that money? And they eventually move him on. They try and get younger and cheaper and, but it never works. You know, eventually somebody takes a look at that contract and says, yeah, he's absolutely worth that. Given our wide receiver situation, we'll have Amari Cooper for that deal. And they bring him in, he plays really well, and then the same thing happens. The cycle starts all over again. A couple of years in, they look at the contract, look at the salary cap number, and they start having second thoughts again. But ultimately, Amari Cooper makes your football team better, and if you can keep him in the building, you should be trying to do that. 